Good day, viewers. My name is Komisho Ray Samson, and here with me is Father Nkaiwo, Chibuke Zinsu, and Okundele Pelaja, which is our leader. We are the student of electrical and electronic engineering at Bakken Olewo University, and we are here to discuss on um, signature, <laughs> signature recognition and verification. So, okay, handwritten signatures differ from other textual forms in that they usually do not contain any text and instead consist of a shape drawn by the signal. As a result, an alternative strategy to processing such signatures should be considered. The project was conducted in the field of offline signature recognition systems with the goal of extracting some unique characteristics that make a signature difficult to fake. Existing signature recognition systems have been thoroughly examined in this project and a model has been developed to construct an offline signature recognition Yeah, thank you, Samson. My name is Zinsu Chibikede Zutomizu. So as we all know, every program comes with an algorithm. So the algorithm used in writing the program comprises of five key processes. One, signature acquisition. Two, signature preprocessing. Three, feature extraction. Four, processing of input signature. Five, signature verification. The MATLAB app now. On the MATLAB app, I have two blocks of code, the process and the GUI target, which we'll be using. The process is just a function that preprocesses the image and extracts certain features we'll be needing in the processing, which is the fourth step in the algorithm. Now, on the process, the first aspect of the code talks about how we get load the image, we get the image width, the image height, we resize the image, we convert it to gray, then to black and white, then extract the black pixels from the code, now uh, interested to the code the next aspect is to get the curve of the signature the origin of the signature both the x coordinate and the y coordinate then we convert it to a matrix then we get the engine in, in value of the matrix after getting the engine value of the matrix we get the new origin of the image then we get the new coordinate of the image then we save our image then we call it in the GUI target. We call the, pro the process, the function called process in the GUI target. Now I'm going over to the GUI target. So on the GUI target, this is where we interact with the program, where we get we get to input our signature. Then we compare it against the database, which is the essence of, of everything we're trying to do in the, in the first place. So now I'm going to go to the run icon. I'm going to run the program. So ask me to change the folder. I'm changing the folder. Then it's going to bring out a tab. This is the tab. On the tab, I have the word browse and I have the word signature. I'm going to click on the browse because I'm going to be calling the signature in. So I'm choosing the image.jpg to be the image I'm going to be inputting to compare. So now we go to the signature part where we compare the image now it's going to load through the database process the images on the database then compare it against the input we inputted in the browse So as you can see, it's intruding through the database, getting every signature on the database and converting it into a matrix, which the computer recognizes. Then it's going to compare the input image against these matrices. Now I'm going to go to the GUI targets. On the GUI targets, that's where I'm going to get the result of everything we just did. So on the GUI target, you can see it's printing now out a name, leak text signature. So what this is saying in essence is there is a particular signature on the on the database that is stored as LeakTech with the signature with the, with the signature name as LeakTech. So it's bringing out a correlation of 0 0.2491 as the correlation between the signature inputted and the signature of LeakTech on the system. So it has been able to identify that 
there is a purported signature on the database that is similar to this signature. And from the correlation number, once it's above 0 0.24, uh, above, 0 .2, above 0 0.2, then it means it is that particular signature. So thank you. I'll be calling over the group leader now to do the conclusion of the video and the, and the project presentation. Thank you. Good day. I'm Ogunele Lajolu Adamilola, the group leader of the group 21 that is currently handling this project. As you can see from the demo, what the program does is compare the input signature with the one on the database. And if it's able to do this, it can actually dictate if there is any form of forgery or not. This particular project, this particular design can be implemented in areas where you will need to um, dictate whether the purported signature is what we have on our database and we can use that in the finance world for example if you need to if you need to get an authorization or an access into a database with this ma with, with, with this particular project with this particular design you can be able to do that automatically instead of going through it manually so this program can find its usefulness in several sectors depending on where you intend to use it. All right. Thank you.